Side med ball slams is one of the best exercises that you can utilize to improve your explosiveness in the off season if you're a wrestler. And the reason why I love this movement, especially in the off season, if I'm training wrestlers in the off season, I want them to try to push themselves physically. I want them to get a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger, a little more muscle mass. And if we can get them to have a little bit more lean muscle mass, we can start to play around with various weights on the medicine balls, okay? We can start to use heavier med balls. We might get up to 25 pounds. And then when we're really, really trying to hone in during the season, we might cut that back to 12 to 15 pounds to really focus on speed. But the reason why I love side med ball slams for explosive work is I want to be able to see an athlete, to see wrestlers that can get super, super heavy on the head and control my opponent's trunk. And if we can think explosive work, abs from an explosive rotational perspective are key to dominating on the mat. It's key to moving your opponent. It's key to controlling your opponent and setting up your offensive attack. And so I like to utilize side med ball slams up to two to three times a week in the off season for four to six sets for four to five reps on each side. Play around with that weight of the medicine ball and make sure that you are doing these rapidly and as explosive as possible so that you can see your explosiveness in the off season really start to uptick. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from Garagestrength.com. And if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in becoming a better athlete, you wanna take those weight room gains and transfer it directly over to your sports performance realm, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you get those gold medals. So we're gonna cover six of the best explosive off-season wrestling exercises that I like to utilize. One of those is a little bit of a bonus, but we've gotta think about. Think about what we just said about the side medicine ball slams, okay? We need to get our wrestlers to increase their strength, to increase their lean muscle mass, to increase the size of their muscles, right? And then we need to train them over a long period of time through technical coordination. We need to train them to be more explosive, to move things fast. It's important that we do train that absolute strength. We get those simple movements like a back squat, a front squat, a bench press. We get those movements to really, really build and they, they start to really push that weight pretty heavy. But we've also got to move things fast, okay? There's a difference between moving heavy weight and moving heavy weight fast. And that's when we start to see our wrestlers move heavy weights fast, that's when we really start to see them dominate on the mat. And that's when they start to win state titles. That's when they start to be NCAA All-Americans. That's when they start to win world bronze medals. And that's where we've got to really focus. When we're dealing with explosive off-season exercises, we've got to think about how can we get them to be more explosive, to improve their movement vocabulary. The body's going to get smarter. The smarter the body gets, the better it's going to be and the faster it's going to adapt when you're on the mat in a match. We can train it fast from different angles and we can teach the body how to utilize all those different angles and positions, it's going to be more intelligent when you're deep inside that third period or the second period if you're wrestling internationally and everything is on the line, your body is going to dominate. Now, that second big exercise that I love to utilize and I, I'm gonna hear the groans is the power snatch. And, and one of the key factors here, this is a very simple movement, but wrestlers are always internally rotated. We're always in an overhead position. One of the big factors that I like to see with the power snatch is one, it teaches a little bit more hip extension for wrestlers, okay? A lot of wrestlers, when they first start to do technical, when they first start to do technical coordination movements like a power snatch, okay? They don't make contact. They struggle to make contact because they're almost always in this position where their lower back is shutting off their glutes. But here's the key factor. If we can start to train our hamstrings to coordinate in conjunction with our lower back and our glutes, our hips get more powerful. They get more explosive. That's where the power snatch comes into play. Then we start to talk about it being overhead. Now, instead of being so internally rotated, we teach our upper back, our thoracic spine, how to extend a little bit more and how to become a little bit more rigid. That's going to improve our shoulder co-contraction. When our shoulder co-contracts more effectively, now we have more stability in our shoulder. Think about how that transfers over to the mat. If I'm collar tying somebody 
and I have more shoulder stability in my shoulder, I can be heavier on the head. When I'm heavier on the head, I can control their trunk. When I can control their trunk, I can manipulate their movement. That's how we've got to see things from the training perspective. I like to utilize power snatch three to four days a week in the off season with my wrestlers. The reason being is that it's lighter, it's fast, it's a technical movement. They have to start to think from that technical perspective. And when we see our high school wrestlers change their mindset from being a meathead to being a meathead that actually thinks about things from a technical perspective, now they start to engage a little bit more with new techniques on the mat because they're more confident in their movement. Their body is more educated and then they can start to dig that well of knowledge so that their body can handle all these different positions. So power snatch, you can do five doubles, nice and light, moving it fast, getting good contact off the hips. If you're a little bit stronger, if you're a little bit more athletic and you wanna go into that full snatch, by all means, hit those deep positions. It's gonna improve your hip mobility, your thoracic extension, and you're gonna feel nice and strong when you step out on the mat. That next key explosive exercise that I love for my off-season wrestling programs is the side quiz jump. And the reason why I like to utilize this is that it's pretty easy for wrestlers to be explosive in a very directional basis. If I wanna just go head on, it's easy for me to do that. But the difference between the elite wrestlers and the sub elite wrestlers is that the elite wrestlers can change on the dime. They can change direction on a dime. They can move very rapidly laterally. They can move forward very rapidly. They can move backward. They can change their level very quickly. And that's gonna help them set up their shots, set up their offensive attack, even to help with their defense, right? And so think about that side quiz jump. What I like to utilize is have a pad on my back knee. I have my front foot forward. I'm gonna get a little bit of a stretch shortening cycle just by rocking forward slightly. My back foot has to stay off the ground. I want to box at 90 degrees. I get that slight little drop. Now my quads, my hamstrings, my glutes, they all coordinate together from that unilateral perspective and we rotate and we explode up onto the box. This is really, really good for teaching our wrestlers how to control that penetration step and how to start to set up the penetration step from multiple different angles. If we're explosive laterally, we can start to really screw with our opponents and set them up any way that we want, but we have to train all these different angles. And that's where the side quiz jump comes into play. This is a movement that we created to help Nick Gwizdowski, two-time world bronze medalist, two-time NCAA champ, become more explosive on multiple different angles. It's a great exercise, and I recommend utilizing this at least twice a week. You can do five sets of four reps on each leg. That next key exercise that I like to utilize for my off-season explosive training is going to be explosive push-ups to boxes. And one of the reasons why I like to utilize this is because we can really gauge success by how high we're gonna go with the boxes. We might start at 12 inches and slowly build to 18, then slowly build up to 24 inches. But one of the things that I like to see is if my athletes can handle a little pause and now almost like an isometric contraction and then they have to explode back up to the box. Then we like to see if they can handle a rebound back up to the box. Then we might start from a static position just from the floor and they have to get up to the box. So there's a couple different ways that we can really train the movement and then we can also train the height. But the reason being, I believe in the off season, a lot of wrestlers should really focus on their absolute strength. They should blow up their bench. They should blow up their dips. They should blow up their pull-ups. All of those general movements should be very, very strong. They should continue to increase a lot in the off season. Now's the time that we can make up ground. Now, the difference becomes with wrestling, you've got to coordinate quickly. So if I can pummel very, very explosively, I can knock somebody off balance very quickly. If I'm a little bit slow with my rate of coordination, they can prepare, their nervous system can feel it and they can adapt to that pressure. But if their nervous system can't fire fast enough to communicate to their to their brain to absorb that energy, now they're gonna be off balance. And that's where the explosive push-ups come into play. If I can explode and really pummel, you know, maybe I'm pushing on their shoulder or I'm pushing on their head or I'm pushing on their hips, whatever it might be, that's the key factor behind explosive off-season exercises is that it's all about taking those strength gains and applying force at a very, very high level. Do these twice a week, 
five sets of six to seven reps, your bench is gonna blow up, and on top of that, you're gonna see a lot more control on the mat. Okay, so this exercise is going to be a bonus exercise. A lot of people aren't gonna be able to do this because of equipment limitations, but if you can, and you have jerk boxes, try this, the split jerk. It produces more force than any other movement in the weight room. Go stand on force plates and execute a split jerk. So this is where I would like to do this, is behind the neck. I'm gonna load that back, I'm gonna dip with a counter movement, and I'm gonna explode, and I'm gonna hit that split position, and I'd like to hold it for a brief period. Now, the reason why I love this is, again, because it transfers very, very well to a ton of force being produced. It also has a technical component. You have to control that split position. The split position also emulates that position that you'll see wrestlers hold when they're on the mat. So that's why I love the behind the neck split jerk. It transfers over very, very well, but a lot of athletes don't have jerk boxes. If you don't have jerk boxes, don't do this movement. It can be difficult to execute. I recommend watching our jerk video on how to do this, but if you do have jerk boxes, by all means, do this, try it out, do it once a week, do it twice a week. It's gonna help you get more explosive. It's gonna increase your vertical jump. It's going to improve how you handle that technical mindset. And that power output is gonna go a long way with those explosive off-season wrestling programs. Finally, that last awesome explosive off-season exercise that you can utilize to improve your performance on the mat is banded pull-ups. And I wanna preface this. If you've got a rope, do rope climbs but that can be dangerous. So we're gonna go with banded pull-ups. With banded pull-ups, I want the band to be around the hips, attached to a dumbbell on the floor. When we're gonna be executing the pull-up, the reason why this actually helps with explosiveness is because of the accommodating resistance, okay? At the top, when we start to pull, I wanna see that sternum get pulled right into the bar. That's gonna help accelerate through the entire path. Now if we can think about, we're holding a pull-up position. Now we're pulling up and we're trying to squeeze as rapidly as possible all the way through the entire movement pattern. When we try to pull our sternum to the bar, that's going to be similar to holding the cradle. That's gonna be similar to getting heavy on the head. It's gonna be similar to getting a knee pick. So all those positions are gonna be transferred over and improved because of the banded pull-up. So we've got to think about being as explosive as possible. And a little secret here is that if you do the banded pull-ups, okay, let's say you do five sets of three. You can rest for three minutes, and then you can do three sets of five as fast as you can or explosive as you can. And now you're gonna not only improve your pull-up rep out, you're gonna also be more explosive. And that's where you're gonna see that big carryover to the mat. Pull-ups are one of the best movements that you can do as a wrestler. Make sure that you do banded pull-ups and you can also play around with how much resistance that you're using on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you need help with your wrestling-based training, we have an entire three-month off-season wrestling-based program. It is our Vulcan program. It's available at garagestrength.com. We utilize a lot of these exercises in our off-season programming to help you become more explosive and to dominate on the mat and to make those gains in the off-season. You can head over to garagestrength.com. You can click on our wrestling tab. That wrestling tab will come out. You click on that. Now you're on the landing page for wrestling and you can find that Vulcan wrestling program right on the wrestling page and that's gonna help you become a better wrestler this off season and develop and win that state title or become the next NCAA All-American or become the next NCAA champ. Pick up the Vulcan program today at garagestrength.com and if you want more information about wrestling-based training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.